Acid strength depends on a variety of factors. One of those factors is the polarity of the bond involving the hydrogen. So if you look at a series of compounds like this, this OH bond becomes more polar as you add more oxygens around this chlorine. You're effectively adding more electron withdrawing groups. So the electrons are spending more time. They have a higher probability of being found around the chloroxy region than the hydroxy region. So that bond becomes more polar, and the acid strength will increase. Stronger acid, slightly weaker acid, slightly weaker acid. Now, since I'm adding oxygens here, the oxidation number of chlorine is changing. So I can make the same correlation between oxidation number and acid strength. The higher the oxidation number in these chloroxy acids, the stronger the acid. So let's correlate these. The strongest acid, slightly weaker, slightly weaker. Now, electronegativity is also a factor. So here's a sequence of acids where I'm going from a lower electronegativity to a higher electronegativity element, chlorine being the most electronegative in this series, and the most electron withdrawing, which makes, again, this the most polar of the three bonds, the easiest to ionize, and hence the strongest acid. This effect, this electron withdrawing group, electronegativity, can be observed at a distance. Here's acetic acid and chloroacetic acid, a chlorine that's even several bonds away from the acidic proton can still have an effect. And indeed, chloroacetic acid is a stronger acid than acetic acid.